Hello everyone, Christian here, and today I want to share with you the latest themes to use if you are a clothing store and you want to actually stand out. Also, stick around to the end for my personal favorite theme right now. So after the OS 2.0 release, there have been a lot of new themes showing up or popping up on the Shopify theme store and the theme developers are getting better and better when it comes to making them more distinct and just adding subtle features and things to make them look really good and different from each other. Uh, because before, I would say like a lot of these themes have some of, some of the same elements and some of the same things, but I feel like now we're starting to see a little bit more uh, wide gamut, right, of, of different themes out there. And that's what we want to talk about today. Some of the top five right now that we're loving and uh, you should check out if you are a clothing store or not a clothing store, really. If you want to check out some really cool themes right now. So the first thing that we have is Stockholm by Co Supply Co. Um, a couple of highlights here. It's a very clean, minimalist. Uh, it has some subtle animations and some unique sections. Uh, now, I do want to show you this real quick. So I'm going to click on the view demo store. By the way, it's $280. <clears throat> and then a lot of these themes, like I've said, mentioned in the past, they have different theme styles. And all the styles are for really is just to kind of show you a different look and feel of the site or the theme before you actually install it on, on your store. But a couple of things here. Um, these are the the unique sections that I was talking about. This section right here, which just categorizes your collection. So they have tops, sales, new arrivals, and bags, and just kind of subtle animations. And it just looks really cool and nice. Um, really cool to just kind of navigate through through a section like this. And they're using it in this particular style on the very top. This is kind of like the hero. Um, I probably wouldn't recommend something like this for the hero. Um, but if you want to use a section, you know, farther down on your on your homepage. I would definitely do something like that. Um, this is another subtle animation that I was talking about, just like this Stockholm, uh, just rotating here uh, on this corner. It just it just adds just an extra flair, right, to the to the actual store. Um, and like I said, when you hover over certain things uh, like the products, you get this subtle animation with with the name and then that little zoom right there. So just subtle things that make this um, theme just really pop for me. Um, and then look at this, like when you hover over the categories, bags, hat, tops, you actually get a picture in the background that moves with your cursor. Um, I've seen that being done on other websites. I've never seen it done here in Shopify. So that's actually really, really cool. We have a review section, popular. And then look at this also subtle animation when I'm scrolling, you get some sort of parallax effect with the images that are in this section. And they just kind of go up and down as you scroll up and down. So again, it looks very unique. It's very minimalistic. Um, it has that sort of feel for right that Shopify theme. But again, with those sort of animations and this new section right here, it just adds a little extra flair to it. Um, and like I said, you, you can also just check different styles here. So you can see how how they completely change it depending on you know the, the type of product, right? So this one in particular is more of a lightning furniture. Um, so you can kind of see how that type of store would look with this theme. Um, and it just gives you a better idea. And as always, you know that you can uh, try the theme before you even buy anything. So you can click on try theme and that would actually install it in your store. And you can customize it um, in order to truly see if that's going to be something that's going to work for you. Okay, so the next theme that we have is Color Block by Shopify. We have to always show something that's free, right? And made by Shopify. Um, do know that a lot of these themes are made by third party vendors, right? Um, but they are inside of the Shopify theme store. Now Shopify does provide a lot of free ones. And lately they've been coming out with, uh, since they released Dawn uh, late last year, they've actually released a lot of different themes and they're using the backbone of Dawn to make these new themes, right? And these themes only have one style per se. So they're just kind of hitting hard on like this Dawn theme is just so versatile that they can create all these different categories, um, just kind of built off the backbone of Dawn and color block is one of those. So color block has a very trendy look book feel to it. Um, I would probably recommend this for high end clothing products. Um, and again, one of the best things is that it's free. I mean, you can't get uh, any better than that. Let's look at the, the demo store here. And like I said, that, that look book feel, it's kind of like a, almost like a magazine, right? Type feel to it. It's like this example that they have here is like spring collection 22. Right. And like they just have a link to shop there. But then look at these big, vibrant, huge images right here on the home page. Um, you can actually see an actual lookbook, you know, right within. Uh, that's one of the features um, of this. But this whole thing, um, and I believe I thought this moved. Maybe it doesn't. 
I thought, yeah, there we go. It's kind of moving a little bit. Um, oh, there it goes. <laughs> uh, so there's a little GIF image right there. But the whole homepage right here, it's just more, like I said, more of a story, right? That they're trying to tell uh, with their with their products. Um, and you can also, the way that they have this section off, which I've never seen before, is that you can kind of shop by color, right? So you can do multicolor, mostly red, mostly blue, mostly yellow. Uh, so that's kind of interesting way to to categorize your products. Uh, obviously, you don't have to do that, and you don't necessarily have to follow these colors that they have here on this theme. You can pick your own colors and still make it, you know, um, your own when it comes to to this particular theme. But again, just big, vibrant pictures, um, big sections, um, and then you kind of have like these random texts. Like sometimes it might look a little bit off, but it just makes it so unique. Um, cause I've never really seen anything like it where like, there's a lot of white space here and here, but it just kind of works. I mean, it looks off, but it looks unique and it looks cool. Um, there's also just little subtle animations. You can see again, that, that little zoom in for the product. Again, big vibrant text. Again, that offset of, of text. So yeah, overall just really cool. Um, really cool store. Let me look at the the lookbook oh they call it lookbook but it's really just the, the product or the collection page actually um, and obviously all these all these themes that we're going to be talking about today uh, do take advantage of the os 2.0 features so like filtering so you can see filter by availability price style size so if you have any of these os 2.0 themes you can actually add this filter without any additional apps or anything like that um, and it just it works so so good and it's awesome because shopify has made that uh, free for everyone basically so you can see the another section, another feature of OS 2.0 is having sections everywhere. So you can see this section right here, look after your garments or garms. Um, they, uh, they're able to add this section because of OS 2.0 as well. Hey, now before we move on to the next one, I just want to say bienvenidos. My name is Christian Pinon, one of the co-founders here at Bitmark. We're an e-commerce growth agency that specializes in helping clothing stores grow and scale profitably online. We drop new videos every week, so make sure that you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications by clicking on that little bell icon. Now, the next thing that we have is called Influence by 8. Just 8. 8. This theme actually has a premium and bold look. You'll actually get to see that once we show you the demo store. Um, it does have predictive surge, it has mega menu, uh, it has stock level indicator, it has a couple of unique sections that we'll kind of go through and show you. Um, but for the most part, 8. They make some really cool features for all their themes. So all the things that I just mentioned, the predictive search, mega menu, the stock level indicator are all sort of built in features for a lot of the eight themes. Um, and then this one influence is one of their newer ones. Uh, it runs at $350, so a little bit on the higher end, um, but you'll see why. I mean, it does have a, a really nice, good look to it. So let's go and check out the demo store here. Um, right off the bat, you get these navigation with that plus button. Then that plus button, all it means is it's going to have that mega menu in there. Um, and with the mega menu, there's a lot of different things you can do. So for example, here, they're actually breaking down, you know, collections and then they have the collection breakdown. But for example, for something like about, they just have a sort of one level, right, for that, for that menu. So it just shows big, um, links right all across. Um, and then believe, yeah, you can also add images. So this fashion wick feed. Um, actually has images and text on top. So there's a lot of different things that you can do with the mega menu. Um, and if you have a lot of products in your store, a mega menu is gonna help you tremendously because it's just gonna make it a lot easier for you to organize all your products and area collections and all that kind of stuff. So really, really cool feature there. Um, and like I was saying, just sort of that premium bold look. Obviously the font that they're using helps a lot with that sort of making it bigger, right? So as you can see this this font that kind of looks like an impact. I don't think it's impact, but um, it just makes it look really nice and bold and big, right? Look how <laughs> big this heading here is. Um, and just everything um, about the font just makes it just pop a little bit more, right? Um, this is one of the sections that I was talking about <clears throat> where it has those sort of tags. So you can have some sort of lifestyle imagery here, um, maybe with different products um, that the person is wearing. And then you can add these tags so they can actually click on them and shop for that particular product. So there's, I think we've talked about in the past, a couple other themes that had this feature. Um, but yeah, again, eight has this feature, which is really, really cool. Um, they have the, they don't have an animation necessarily, but they do have the uh, changing of pictures, right? When you go from one to the other, which a lot of things actually uh, do have that. 
Now that subtle animation there was kind of cool. So you see it as you scroll here, that section expands a little bit. So it's just these little things that just make it that premium look when it comes to these new themes, which I, I really like a lot. So you can see we have feedback, um, we have these slider sections. You can actually use this as the hero as well. We have some image gallery, we have some regular columns. Again, this is the same slider, but done differently. So instead of just having one and one, they actually have two sections for each slider. New slider, again, big and bold. So it just looks really, really nice. Let's look at the, just the random product page. Okay, so uh, something really cool, they have color swatches. So that's awesome. Uh, we actually made a video recently on how to add color swatches to the Dawn theme. So. If you have the Dawn theme and you're still sticking to the Dawn theme and you want to add color swatches, check out that video right here and that will show you how to do that. Um, this has big uh, sort of grid uh, format when it comes to the um, the images here, which again is something that Dawn also does. Uh, product video I just saw, which is pretty cool. Uh, looks like you can also have the ability to add uh, sort of like products you may like or so products that go well together with this, um, which again is an eight feature. Um, Sizing fit, that's pretty cool, details. So it's, there's really a lot of, and this is the uh, in-stock indicator. So it actually tells you if it's in stock, ready to ship, it's in their warehouse and you know, good to go. <clears throat> so overall, this theme has a ton of really good features and a lot of really good things. Eight is a great third-party provider uh, for themes. So make sure to check out Influence by Eight. Now, I know we're talking about themes here in this video, but if you're looking for a new theme, you're probably looking for something that will draw conversions to your store, right? And in order to really capture all the data that you need, um, in order to know if what your marketing efforts are doing are working or not working, then you're gonna need a tool like Triple Whale to, in combination with your new theme, um, it will make things a lot easier for you to make decisions for your business. So we're using that tool Triple Whale for all of our clients and it allows us to see a lifetime value of a customer at 30, 60, 90 days. Um, but what we're most excited about is the estimated action of customers. So um, it allows us to see when a customer is about to purchase or make that second or third purchase, right? So imagine being able to just send emails or run ads to those customers right there. Um, and that's just the, sort of the tip of the iceberg when it comes to Triple Well. Um, it gets all your data into one place. So again, you can make those marketing messages and those marketing decisions um, a lot easier. So Triple Well centralizes all these metrics um, into one place. Make sure to check out the link in the description. We also have a little code. So if you wanna try it out for a discounted rate, it's right there in the description. So the next theme that we have is called Shapes by Switch. Again, this is a pretty new theme, but it gives us retro vibes. It has shapes, that's why it's called shapes. Uh, it has stickers. Uh, it's for probably smaller catalogs and unique brands and stores. It has some unique sections. Again, it has those little subtle animations that I really love. Uh, but the main feature for this theme is shapes. It's the name of it. Um, and let me show you real quick because uh, it just looks really cool. So uh, also do wanna mention that they say this is great for food and drink or health and beauty, but to be honest, I mean, it's really good for anything. Um, so let's go and hit that view demo. And as you can see right now, I have the theme style muted and I'll show you the different styles um, for this particular theme so you can actually see the different shapes. So this one, it kind of looks like a flower type shape right here, but keep that in mind as we keep scrolling, you see this shape in the background for each of these products. That's something that you can actually pick and choose. Um, if we keep scrolling down, um, you have this little shape over here that looks like a little blob. And then keep scrolling down, we have the flower petals showing up here in this uh, one, two, three section. And then we keep scrolling down a little bit more. We have this little, it's not quite the same as the flower petals, actually a little bit more just undulated. Um, it's kind of like a hexagon, but a lot more spots. <laughs> um, it says no bad stuff. Um, you have these little subtle animations. As this text is scrolling, you also have the flower shape going around in circles. Again, we have products with that little blob in the background. We have this little wave to um, go from one section to the other. Again, just a big blob. Okay, so you saw all those shapes right there, right? Now, if we change from muted to, let's say, neon, um, you get different shapes. So you see in the background right here, we have this, that little just 
basically star type uh, shape in the background. We have these subtle animations with the fruit just kind of going and moving. Um, again, just like the waves separating uh, the sections. Behind the actual product, uh, we have these sort of hexagons. Are the hexagons? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, the septagon? I don't know. I just made that up. Uh, the new tag has a square. So again, kind of catching my drift here. Um, all of these shapes you can actually change from you know the actual theme so that's one of the the biggest things about this theme is that you can change all these shapes and i think they say something like you know square is boring like you can add a little bit more personality to your store with all these shapes so in a typical website you would see either circles or squares right uh, think about this section right here this review section what you normally see is this little square with the person inside of it but here they have this I don't know what to call this, it's just like a little hurricane looking thing, a typhoon. Um, and they have the image of the person uh, for that review right there. Uh, so again, look at this shape, uh, it's like a square with trapezoid. I don't know, I'm I, I'm a loss for words. There's so many shapes in here. Um, I don't even know the name of these shapes, but it just makes it look so, so cool. So if you have a unique brand um, or something that has maybe not a huge catalog of products, um, this would be your ideal store right here. Um, just because of the, the custom customability of having all these different shapes um, within your store. So like, if you have a kind of quirky brand too, like, oh my gosh, please use this theme. Um, it's just so much fun. Um, this one in particular, the neon has just a lot of different colors. So it just kind of gives you a good idea of like, oh my gosh, these are all the things that you can do. But really, if you go to like the pastel or like the muted, which I just showed you, uh, it just kind of shows you more mature or like a different type of feel still using the same theme, which is just crazy. Um, anyways, this is probably one of the most unique themes right now. Um, and it's just because of that, like the ability for you to change the boring square circle shapes into something a little bit more interesting, which makes it awesome. Hey, if you're liking this video so far, make sure that you hit that like button. And now for my favorite theme right now, it's called the Mojave by Digi First. Uh, this theme right here has a very premium feel. It has those subtle animations. Uh, you have product tagging and sections. Um, it has very unique product pages as well. It runs at $320. Um, it's also a very new theme to the actual Shopify theme store. And just one of the reasons it was my favorite is also um, because it's very much so for clothing accessories. So some of the things that we talked about today may not have been for clothing in particular, but this one is made thinking about products like clothing products um, in particular so it's one of my favorites for clothing stores right now so let's click on that view demo store again you kind of see that little sort of animation when the picture loads and when the, when the text loads you can kind of see it come up uh, which just looks really nice um, again this section right here this hero section just kind of split into two something that you don't see a lot you see them the hero section you just see that big um, huge section taking you to that one call to action but this one has those that split right there um, and then as you can see, as I'm scrolling through here, uh, you can kind of see that premium feel to, to this theme. And then something that they also do, which is that product tagging that I was talking about, where, for example, this section right here, they talk about all these different sections or these different collections, but any image that they have on any random section, you can tag a product right within it. So you're showing the lifestyle imagery and you're also showing, hey, this is actually a product that we have in the store. Come click here and let's go check it out. Um, and then, like, like I said, same for all these. Like, these are typical sections that you see on other, other web websites and other themes, but they have the ability to tag that product, which just makes it, it just kind of elevates the experience, right, um, for the consumer. Um, and again, same with this big hero type looking section here. Um, you have the two products that are tagged right within here. So you have this one, we click on it, we actually get taken to the product page. Um, and again, the product page just has a nice, good, premium feel to it. Um, you can see the, the video um, media just plays automatically, which is awesome. Um, you can see color at the car button. Uh, description is right here. Shipping and returns and mater material. And I believe these are, yeah, kind of like, it's not a pop-up. It actually opens up right there within the, the, the that section, uh, which just makes it really, really cool. I've never seen anything like this before either. Um, same with material and care. It just opens up right there. It's not an intrusive uh, sort of pop-up, which is just really nice. To complete the look, I think we saw this on another theme um, and in a couple other ones, they've started adding this, but this is amazing. Uh, complete the look is something that 
<laughs> you might not get from uh, other themes and you have to get additional apps. This is actually built in right within here. Uh, customer reviews, just really, really nice, good premium feel. It also has a little bit of that um, mega menu, right? So we have images and then we have a nice breakdown of um, products and then collections in here. So again, just really, really nice, good theme, um, which will be great, great if you have a clothing store. Hey, if you like this video, make sure to check out the next video. We actually made a couple of videos on themes that you should be looking out for. And you should watch the next one right here. See ya.